Hello guys and welcome to the very first episode of Building With Me, Blaubart. Today we're gonna start a very new adventure in this 1.18 world, a mix of let's play, survival and a little bit of building series is on its way and take a look, I'm standing here at world spawn. I spawned right over here somewhere and look at this mountain. We spawned right next to a mesa. That's just amazing. We'll have a lot of place to go and get both some loot for from chests and gold as well. And what is that I see over there? Guys, maybe, just maybe we have our very first spawner over there. But I don't think that'll something... That we'll go after just yet. This is the very first seconds of our new world. And we have to start off, as in every other Minecraft world, with punching some trees. Look at this mountain, guys. This is just amazing. This is what 1.18 is all about for me. It's the new world terrain generation. It's all the ideas to fantastic builds just going all around the world. As you might have noticed, this is not only the first episode of the series, but it is actually the very first episode at all on this channel called Blaubart. So if anybody is watching, I'll thank you very much for following along in this brand new world. And as you can see here, we're off to a very nice cozy start creating our very first wooden pickaxe. Now, some of you might just see, say that this wooden pickaxe just serves a three cobble stone purpose and then it's out the window. I also only use it for three cobblestones, but I always like to keep it somewhere. So as soon as we're going to get these one, two, three cobblestone, I'm going to retire this, put it in my inventory in the top left corner and keep it for a later build, some kind of trophy room. Maybe a buried treasure, because as you can see here, guys, I am a pirate and I want this world, at least for the first part, to be pirate builds all around. So I think I'm just going to go get started, get the most basic tools, try to get some hunt for some iron or go on an adventure. And let's go. Take a look at this, guys. As I just turned the corner from around over here, you can see the remainders of the tree I just chopped. I came over to see a village. This is just perfect spawning right next to this beautiful mountain with a waterfall, some cows, maybe some horses if we can manage to get a saddle from that dungeon over there and a village right next to us. There's some kind of waterfall action going here as well. Maybe it is actually coming from the fields, some terrain bug, I don't know. But take a look at this and is this a cave? I might just think, oh, that goes down very deep. Where is, whoa, guys, we just found, I think, isn't that? Oh, that was a bad, bad view. Let's go over here and try. I think we just find uh, found our very first diamond. And we have to go and pick that up in this episode. I think already, guys, I'm going to explore this village. Maybe we'll find some good loot. And here it is. My favorite color bed. I'll just grab that. Now, some of you might know why this is my favorite color. And some of you won't. And that's just fine. That's all personal preferences. I've been playing ever since the bed could only be red. So that's why I always like to keep it that color. Now let's go and explore this village. It's kind of scattered around this hilly side. And it's beautiful but not that practical. And here is what I was looking for. There was the very first food source. As you can see I like to sprint a lot of round. And my hunger bar is decreasing and it's decreasing fast. So let's get some food. Let's try to loot this village. And then let's go on a hunt for some iron. Now we at least have a place to end. It's no way. No way, guys. I just spotted another village out here. What is this spawn? It's just amazing, guys. I'll let you know. 
what I want to do with this build, with this world later in the episode. But first, let's go and hunt for some iron. And guys, I just rang the bell and now the time is to capture the first two of our villagers. Now we have for a future villager farm. The village was kind of alright. I find some weed. I'm looking forward to go and discover the other one. Was it out here? Yes, it was. Maybe we'll get some more food sources. And I don't think that there's that much other loot. Just have to kind of be aware of this water source blocks. Creating some ugly, ugly waterfalls all over. All in all, it's great to have the villagers this close to spawn. Great to have a village. But the village could be... Much better than it actually was. Maybe I'll just hold on to this water source. Oh, that was too late. But it would have been nice to have some way to get up and down. And down there we can always already see the dangers that lure ahead. But that'll be for another day. Because I'll go to sleep. And in the next day we're gonna... And I know I've said this, this a couple of times already. But the hunt for iron continues when i have looted this village and take a look at this guys i finally made my way to the almost top of the mountain and look at all this iron that we are getting i have been mining for five minutes and already have way above 40 iron raw iron that we're gonna make into some armor and armor we're going to need because i'm not that good at the game i probably won't make a hardcore series ever because i would be dead within the first 10 10 minutes but look at this spawn it's just amazing at least from here i can see one two three four five six seven and all of those i've already mined way above 10 iron ores within 12 chunks it's just amazing what a start that we we're off to ready to go and get our very first diamond in the mine down where we looked at all those creepy creepers so this guys has honestly been the best start i could ever hope for in this world within the first two minecraft days we already are fully kitted out full iron armor with the iron pickaxe the sword and almost 50 iron ingots to spare so let's go down to the mines this is what it's all about about right here for me guys it's about the adventure the caves as you can see here i have turned the darkness off this does not mean that they will not be able to spawn and i can still see the diamond over here let's go and grab this and take a look at these caves guys 1.18 just continues to surprise me every day and there we got it our very first diamond now that was that for that adventure thank you guys i am going up again now some of you might have been wondering why did i just take that one diamond and go back to the surface well as it is with the wooden pickaxe so i have it with my very first diamond as well so but while climbing the mountain i found this beautiful little spot and thought this would be the perfect place for our very first starter house that we're also are going to be building in this episode but i want to create this little treasure and i wouldn't be a real pirate if i did not bury it right here and put in our very first pickaxe and our very first diamond maybe we'll just consider keeping our first stone pickaxe as well just to keep the story and how do I remember where this is, you might think. I don't know, but that's also how to be a true pirate. So, we will now go directly back to the cave, just in case that I lose everything. I'm gonna deposit another chest and we'll set up a little bit of a temporary base right here. Before going on the dangerous adventures of the new 1.18 caves. And we are back in business, looking out to get our very first kill. I see this zombie guy, and I might... Yes, he got the honor of becoming our very first kill, getting us the achievement Monster Hunter. Over here there are some creepers, and I think 
for the next couple of minutes or next half an hour i'm going to be exploring some caves getting some is this a zombie villager do i need you no i don't so you can go and say hello to my little friend as you can see right there he dropped a villager head and this leads me into talking about what kind of data packs i'm using in this world what kind of settings i'm using and i'll tell you that shortly just taking care of this creeper guy oh and as you might know it from Hermitcraft, some of the data packs I have on is the more mob heads, as the one we just saw with the zombie villager, player head drops. That means when I get killed by something, myself or something else, then my head is gonna drop. I have the opportunity to silence mobs. I rarely use it, but I just have it anyway. The wandering trader trades mini blocks, and then I have the anti enderman grief on. I hate, I absolutely hate enderman taking my dirt blocks from my meticulously planned out terrain but i do not want to fill it out so it won't be noticeable that's why i have this last but not least i have the durability ping in that way when i have less than 30 or something uses back on my pickaxe it will notice me about that it's survival it's on hard and for the game rules i have set my respawn location radius to zero means i'll be spawning on the very same block every single time that helps me off sometimes with making some really good spawn builds and last but not least i have turned the fire tick off and that's simply because i love being able to include fire in my builds and as well building a wooden house as the thing that we're going to go and build now will not be very nice with lightning strikes and fire tick on and that was that for my settings as you can see right here guys here is an abandoned mine shaft and i actually came to think that with the giant amount of iron which i just read was a new kind of spawning in 1.18 worlds they are way more coming common up in the air we actually don't need to be risking our lives going down in this cave just yet as you can see i've planned ahead and i've put a waterfall uh, there is actually way more than i expected but and there's glow squids but i think we'll head up to the surface and i'll slowly but surely start to gather materials for our very first home a home that we'll probably be able to use and hopefully we'll be able to use for the many next episodes to come. So let's go and do that. And I am finally done with collecting all the resources and boy oh boy did that take a long time. But take a look at this. I collected some granite, some clay. The first clay is smelting up, up as we speak. And here look at all the different kind of woods I got as you also saw in the time lapses. And boy oh boy this spruce was it just horrible to find. I first went a thousand blocks in this direction direction went over didn't find anything went back i did th find however five whole villages and i looted them for everything of value until i came home here bummed out had to go and grab my very first spruce tree somewhere else so i went to the seas took out like a real pirate to steal something from someone else and then i went north for around two thousand blocks before getting my first spruce tree and that was all right i think now it's all collected but before we get into building i have just remembered that we have some kind of a spawner over in the mesa biome over here that i want to go and check out what it is maybe it'll help us out in the build and maybe it'll just be a zombie spawner and we have arrived you guys and there is chest law what here what is that <laughs> that's crazy now some of you might have noticed that i said that i did not want it to be a zombie spawner as we get our very first 
glow berries and another iron pickaxe i will be very happy about that and name tag and what do we get in the last and name tag and maybe we'll get the coal now i know we have the rails over here i can go and grab them if i want it maybe i should take this redstone as well back to the zombie spawner i don't like the zombie spawner because it simply only provides substantial amounts of rotten flesh if you do not intend to trade it with the cleric what is the use for the spider spawner even though it's a bit more complicated to build it can give you a lot of string which is I often use in builds either to hold up carpets or to create the advanced wall, if you could call it that, where it has every single pointing a bit. But my favorite, which I hope this is going to be, is of course, oh, there's a creeper in there, is of course the skeleton spawner, not the creeper spawner. I'll just grab some, oh, it's some things. Oh. Oh, that was crazy. <laughs> Why did it... Oh, could you have seen, guys, if it actually uh, exploded our spawner? That would have been bad. And now I need to fight this. But it looks like as it is the skeleton spawner. And guys, we are set for bone meal for the rest of the series. This is good. This is really, really good. I'm so glad that I went over to check this because now the next time that I want to go and chop up a lot of wood, maybe it'll be a good idea to go and make a spawner here first because I can do it just by my base. I have the sap saplings for almost all the trees, only missing the dark oak wood. And I think that was a successful loot for this time and we'll head back and start off the building. And now we are back and I'm looking forward to start building right here on this little plateau. I'll have to fill this out with water and then get to work. When I build, I tend to do it in four or five different stages, stages heavily inspired by the ones presented uh, by beatups in one of his video and I think that what we'll do now is that I'll build the different stages and take you and guide you through them every time I have built either of the stages what is important for me to say is also that all of my builds probably in this series is going to be already planned out in creative I spent some time before recording this clip just planning out what kind of build I wanted to make here and guys I can already tell you now that it's going to look amazing so I'll see you guys when I've prepared the terrain and I've built the starting structure of our very first build and so guys now we are finished with the first step of planning out and take a look at this you can see i cleaned the terrain up a bit and you can see that i want a house with this kind of a wrap around porch going all the way and i have two things i would like to point out to you guys in this first stage the first one being the detail with the spruce locks beneath the oak locks making it look like the locks they are wet this is really great another thing that i could have been building in now in this stage but i'll wait for a later stage is this bridge going out from here where we can stand and we can fish and we can go with our boat once we open up this entrance over here and the other thing is the spacing between the locks here you can see that there's four there are four here four here two here and here we make a shift so it's three and a four and the thing i wanted to say is that i always plan these spaces out i am not necessarily a fan of making every space an odd number or every space an even number but i am a fan of however planning it out so you don't get any nasty surprises i can't count the amount of times where i've been building a build and then suddenly my window design doesn't fit on one end or the other of the house and that is just horrible so i always like to plan it out meticulously and make the build give the build as good as an opportunity as it can to be the build that i want it to be the next stage that we're going to go on is build the main blocks try to build some height on getting figured out where the 
roof is going to be and then maybe make the rooms for the interior. I don't quite know yet. And now with stage 2 done, I just had to take it to the ocean to take a look at this house from a different kind of view. And guys, isn't this looking completely amazing? Take a look at how I tried to use different shape, shapes, different sizes and different heights all to create a dynamic build. I made the tower over here trying to make it look like it was looking out over the ocean and what is who's coming in here was the main part and then this kind of shack here laying in the background. I have not made the interior just yet but that's also for the stage 3. I think one of the things that I want to highlight as well is the use of gradient and texture. As you can see I've already textured the roof with three different kind of blocks the bricks the granite and the polished polished granite and i've added some kind of texture here in the walls however it's only gradient and i haven't made it completely done yet it's not as if there's a specific way you have to do this is just some of the things that i do now take a look around the building we can see here there's a place a little uh, space for a little workplace here. I imagine that over here will be a small stair and the main entrance into this completely empty build. And maybe I think we'll add some kind of crane out here loading up the goods from whatever merchant or whatever is coming in the dock here. The third stage that we're going to make is to get every basic exterior built done not with all the details but as detailed as possible get the windows in and get the crane and some the maybe i'll make the porch done as well with the bridge i don't quite know just yet but i hope that you like this build as much as i do so far i think this looks amazing just looks like the build that we want to live in for the next many episodes to come now take a look at this build i am just so satisfied with how it turned it's turned out i still haven't put that stair up yet i'll probably forget it and that's also okay but take a look guys i finished the wrap around porch all the way around also with the small detail here of the trapdoors and the ladder so you can actually get up from this way i built this balcony all around added some hanging lanterns and the crane is right here now, remember, the build isn't done yet, but I certainly think that we've come a long way. We added this entrance from the ocean, and here we have a little chest area, a little place to maybe make a basement eventually, and the workbench. In this room is for the tower, and I don't know yet what I want to build there. And going upstairs, we have a little bit more workspace. I can just imagine some bookshelves and maybe item frames with my very first diamond and my very first pickaxe maybe a map i don't know yet and up here on the alcove look at our cozy little bedside now one of the most amazing things about this build you guys is that the sun will be setting out over the ocean and that is going to be beautiful i promise you'll see it in this episode at some point and now i made this so you can go down as well to the main floor walking out the exit over here i added this pergola kind of thing and some fence gates this whole build is one and a half block at least around so there will be no monsters able to come up there i think creepers might still blow if they get too near and skeletons can shoot but i like it anyways and i'm looking forward to finishing this build off completely the last step is adding the details adding the splashes of color using some leaves using banners using all those kind of things just to make this build as immersive as possible i'm thinking about making some workstations around the side porch as well so i really really love this build and i'm looking so much forward to showing you guys the whole finished build at the end of the episode and here we are guys with our very first finished 
build of this series in episode 1 and take a look at the sunset from here. This is just amazing and I'm looking forward to having many many nights where I go to sleep in my bed in here having this view. As you can see I did not have the gold to make this gold just yet so it was wheat but you know that's also kind of piratey. No it's actually not piratey at all. But let's take a look inside here. Here is the place that I want to retire my first iron armor. When I get full diamond, that will probably be next episode. So that's already ready for that. Over here we have a lectern. Maybe I'll try and write some stories down here. No, no I won't. But, you know, in the game I would. And here is our little riding place with our arch enemy. Uh, this guy, but we already killed him, so that's great. Up here, I made a little bit of details with the carpet matching the bed, and if we need a night drink over here. This is a really cool design for barrels, I think. With the trip wire hook, it just completes the look. And if we go downstairs, here we have the furnace with kind of chimney designs. I'm not quite satisfied with this, but maybe... We'll keep it, maybe we won't. Here's a little crafting area, and as you can see here, we got item frames on all of our chests, and I really think it looks cool. I enjoy this area. I removed the door to create more of a fluent way to get down the basement once we get that, and now in here, I created the mechanics of the crane. As you can see here, it doesn't work, but the idea is... You could pump it up and down to grab the crane and make it grab all the things. So what I think I'll do now is I'll go and sleep in our new bed with a little flower on top. And oh, it's all cozy and nice and it's very good. It's not our first night in the home, but it's our first night here with it fully decorated. And then we only lack one thing for it to become the house that we want and now we have the problem of me not remembering where we dug down the treasure so i think i'll dig up a bit just to find it and then we'll see now guys i dug up all of this area just to see that i started one block off and here we have it i think for now we'll let the stone and iron pickaxe stay down here and we'll go and place the things that'll make this our very first home with our very first diamond and our very first wooden pickaxe. This is the ending of our very first episode. Thank you guys for following along. It's been awesome creating our very first house and our very first video on this channel as well. That was it for me and I'll see you guys next time. Congratulations on making it to the end of the episode. If you have not already done it, please consider liking and subscribing as it will help out the channel a lot. See you.